Welcome back. We're here looking at the in the season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 2nd, 2022. If you like support channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So, this was another horrible day. So, you had two really good days both on Wednesday and Thursday. The pullback on Thursday probably should have given the warning that this market was basically a tend to pull back quite aggressively. We actually have broke, we broke below the previous lows here in the end of February and uh, the beginning of March. And at this point, it's not looking very nice for uh, the NASDAQ. If the, double bottom theory that this was going to rally from here that has at this point kind of gone out kind of gone out the window there is there is a little bit of hope that we may see a rally here on monday due to the fact that we are significant on the edge of being oversold and if this were to um, tumble even further then we'll get into oversold conditions and therefore we'll basically see a rally but at this current stage it looks like we are going to make uh, another low in this market and this will most likely drop even further and we will see something similar to this and we'll get uh, basically a bearish um, bearish trend which we will bounce off in in the near future that's probably what we're going to looking at at this current stage we are technically selling into the end of the session as well and that is not that's also a very bearish signal if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still bearish stochastic is bearish and so is the rsi if we were to rally from here then we have the middle of the bullish band moving this way we have the 50 moving average moving this way and both of them will offer a resistance if we were to break above the 50 moving average then we also have the 200 moving average which most likely will turn um turn quite aggressively now as this has sold off also significantly so we are basically in a bear market um, the signal here of the 50 moving average crossing the 200 moving average was basically the signal that the things have changed in the stock market and we are for the foreseeable future going to see a lot more negativity uh, it's probably not until 2023 when the fed is basically done uh, increasing interest rates and so on that the market knows what it has to deal with um, and yes we'll just see what happens on monday but at this point it's not looking really nice if you look at the s p 500 very similar here we are still we haven't broken below uh, the previous lows of february and march but we're making the double bottom and we are also selling into the end of the session macd is bearish stochastic is bearish and so is rsi and there's not a lot of room to the downside if we were to continue breaking down or if we saw something similar to this and then continue breaking down that will most likely make a uh um a channel where we are going to see this just bounce back and forward and continue in this basically bear market so let's look at the dow jones dow jones also sold off quite significantly down two and a half percent uh, we haven't reached the lows of february and march but it's probably just a matter of time there's still more room to the downside here in the rsi and due to the fact that we are quite overstretched in the bullish band, we may see this rally up before continuing down. Also here, breaking below the lows of February and March opens the door to, to roughly the level of 31k or 30k, where we most likely will bounce from. At that point, the RSI will be significantly oversold and therefore we will most likely see a rally similar to this. And that's probably what the market has to offer going forward at its hitting the resistance level bouncing towards support uh, hitting its support levels bouncing up to resistance levels and then just just continuing back and forward and it will be just be a lot of selling and buying going forward so looking at the european market nasdaq just looks like it's about to fall off a cliff we found we broke above the 50 moving week average here tested it once broke down, tested it twice, broke down, tested it 
three times now and also here selling into the end of the session and at this point breaking below the the lows of Wednesday and then this market will really tumble to the downside roughly at 12,500 uh, give or take that's basically the lows here of uh, in the beginning of March so if we were to break above the 50 moving average we still need to take out this candlestick and also that candlestick and then also counter the 200 moving average but it definitely it's not looking really nice for the DAX if you look at technical indicators they are a little bit more bullish it's probably because we have rallied quite significantly the last three days but MACD is still bearish stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish as well there's a lot of room to the downside and considering that the US market has broken down this significantly I'm quite surprised that the, the European markets have not broken down as significantly as the European US markets uh, but um, they will definitely follow so looking at the VIX up 7% today still very overstretched but still if you scroll out it still looks like we are building up for a future where this is going to be which where volatility is going to be significantly higher than we have seen in 2000 and, uh, second half of 2020 and 2021 so this could also mean that we will see stocks indices fall significantly further as well at this point breaking above as uh, the 36 that opens the door all the way up towards 40. So let's look at the 10 year also here two and a half, two point six percent so yes 20 simple moving average middle of the bullish band is basically the bottom of this market so it has gone parabolical it is approaching the highs back here in 2018 of roughly 3.4 3.2 and to breaking above that then will go significantly higher it is not overbought yet but it's getting into that territory uh, stochastic is bullish and the macd is bullish as well so pulling back towards the 20 exponential it rallies pulling back rallies pull back and then it continues rallying like that but it can't go parabolical forever at some point it will test the 50 moving average and and uh, and so on so hope you find this helpful if you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much